First, check that the tires and rims on the front and rear axles are not visibly damaged or run out of shape. There should also be sufficient tread depth. If rims or tires are damaged, a wheel alignment check must be carried out. Also note the document numbers listed. Make sure that the spring leaks on the front axle are straight and not bent. Check the spring leaks for deformation using the center line shown in the picture. Also check the rubber boots on the supporting joint for leaks and damage, e.g. cracks or grease leakage. Shock absorber and fork should be parallel. Check the shock absorber tube and the lower mounting fork for buckling, deformation, leaks. It must also be checked that the associated shock absorber ankle joint is undamaged and is centered in the spring link. If the shock absorber is in perfect condition, it is at right angles to the spring link connection. Now check the tight fit of the tension strut and the bearing. In addition, the strut rod joint and the associated joint sleeve must not be defective. By pushing and pulling, they check whether the suspension has play. At these points, check the fastenings and bearings for damage or wear. The bearings bushings of the front stabilizer and the stabilizer itself must also be checked. Make sure that the track rods are not bent or damaged. The tie rod joints and rubber bellows must also be undamaged and free of play. Also inspect shock absorbers and steering knuckles for wear and damage. Also check the upper wishbone. It must not show any damage. Also make sure that the upper wishbone joint the rubber boot and the elastomer bearing are in perfect condition. By pulling and pushing the wheel again, you ensure that the upper wishbone has no inadmissible play. All four suspension springs and shock absorbers must be equally tight and undamaged. Check the steel springs for correct seating, paint damage or fractures.